going to talk about the United States, okay. okay? Because the idea that there's this Western world and who's in it, or so in the Un United States is a lot like Malaysia, mm -hmm. except it's bigger in that we have a lot more people. But I always think of it as a lot like Malaysia, which is we are um, very diverse. Mm -hmm. We have people from every country in the world. We have people who have believe in every faith in the world and some people who don't have any faith. Um, and we have rural communities and we have suburban communities, we have urban communities, we have East Coast, West Coast, the middle of America. So we are very, very diverse. We also actually are a nation that is very religious. Mm -hmm. um, people have lots of different faiths, but a lot of Americans actually have a lot, they're very religious, they have faith. Mm -hmm. they, um, they, even if they may not attend church or synagogue or mosque or temple, mm -hmm. they still feel a great spirituality. Mm -hmm. So we also have a tradition, because we're so diverse, okay. because we have people from all over the world who have different faiths and beliefs, who have different kinds of lives, we also have a belief that individuals um, are going to make their own decisions, Div individual families, that there's going to be a diversity of beliefs, a diversity of uh, ways of living your life. And we have a belief that to make our society work, we need to accept that and we need to be tolerant. And we need to accept that people are gonna live in different ways and have different beliefs. But as long as we all let people live together peaceably, that's okay. Mm -hmm. We have a freedom of opinion, a freedom of faith, a freedom of speech, because what we respect is we have to respect all these different um, individuals. Mm -hmm. And the way we can be more unified is to say, oh, that's your faith. I want to understand it. It may not be my faith, but I respect it. Mm. And one of the examples you, you just brought up was um, LGBT. Yeah. Okay, I know this is an issue of debate, debate in Malaysia. And in the United States, this is an issue of debate. We've had a lot of uh, a time where there was a lot of discrimination where people who were LGBT didn't talk mm -hmm. publicly. They could have been arrested. Uh, they were arrested. And so the United States as a society and legally under law went through a lot of struggle and debate and disagreement. There are people in the United States who for their religious beliefs or their own personal beliefs uh, don't, don't, are not comfortable with LGBT. But there has been huge change in the United States legally and also in our society. But the way that happened is because there was debate and discussion and individuals from that community, LGBT, said, I am gay or I am a lesbian. I want to tell my story. I want to live my life as an American without risk. But this is my life. I'm not telling anyone else. I'm saying for myself. And a lot of families, mm -hmm said, oh, I have a son or a daughter, and I still, I love them. And there was debate and discussion, and there still is, yeah. right? And that, that's the United States to me, and that's why some people could say, oh, you have a lot of different views or a lot of different people, and, my, and you, you have people with these views that we find we're uncomfortable with, or we have people, my answer is we are a nation of very diverse people mm -hmm. and the way we um, try to seek unity in that diversity is to accept that we have lots of difference but we're going to respect each other and we're going to continue to discuss and work together uh, to find a society that, that we're comfortable with. Well, I think that we share um, that 
our societies are uh, born of lots of people from different places. Mm -hmm. A lot of them in the United States and in Malaysia got married to each other, okay. fell in love and got married. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Okay. okay. And I think that um, we also share, and I think, um, a history and of uh, um, rule of law and governance based on individuals uh, voting power, uh, what we saw in the last election. I think there is Malaysia struggles over issues of freedom of speech and freedom of religion and freedom of opinion. And in the history of the United States, we have struggled over these things and we continue to. We also, um, Malaysia once and has had independent institutions and independent judiciary. Um, a, um, a parliament and a, 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 a prime minister system a little different than ours, but how we make the government accountable to the people, how we ensure that we have independent institutions, these are things that we share with Malaysia and that we seek to have um, stronger institutions and we know also that institutions are only as strong as the people in them. Right? And I think Malaysia has that same challenge okay. too. Okay.